I'm just going to get into a little bit about what Android is uh, from more of a slightly technical level. It's, uh, it's a modern operating system, like I said, like, like Windows or Linux or something like that. It's a whole operating system with all its tools. It's, uh, it's also a cutting edge mobile user experience, as, uh, as Richard was saying. And it's a world class software stack for building applications. Uh, it's an open platform and it's open to everybody. So enthusiasts, uh, hardware manufacturers, everybody. Uh, the nice thing about this is that a hardware manufacturer doesn't have to pay any royalties to anybody if they decide to go with uh, Android on their handsets. And it's, it's open source, so everybody can contribute to this. So if there's a, a bug that's holding back your application or a feature that you want to add to differentiate your handset on the market, maybe some kind of new sensor that you want to incorporate, you can actually uh, add that in really easily. So why did Google develop Android? Well, there's uh, lots of mobile phones out there, uh, more than three billion, um, maybe up to four now since, uh, since I last grabbed this information. And we have greater than 100% market penetration in Europe, so that means some people have uh, more than one mobile. I know I have uh, three G1s and an iPhone, so I'm, I'm definitely contributing to that. And we estimate, there, there's an estimate of uh, something like 1,000 new customers per minute. Uh, you'll notice that this isn't footnoted, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. Uh, and we want to reach that audience through innovation, just like, uh, just like in the late 90s when, um, when the, the, you know, the, the interweb happened and you know, the big system of tubes, and it got really popular. And it's all because everything is open. It's open to industry because uh, they don't have to pay anything in order to use Android. So there's this whole world-class software stack that was developed, and they can use it, and they don't have to pay anybody anything. Uh, and same with the manufacturers and enthusiasts, like some of the, uh, some of the developers we have here. And it uh, reduces costs and time to market. Because it's open source, innovation happens on the scale of, of uh, weeks, sometimes hours, as opposed to months and years when you have a, a big company. And we, I think for people in the audience who've worked in big companies, you know how frustrating things can, how frustratingly slowly things can sometimes move. It's just inevitable. It's, uh, it's open to developers. Uh, you don't need anybody's permission to deploy an app. So uh, I've, I've deployed apps and absolutely nobody checked to see if it was uh, worthy to, to go on the Android market, which is, which is kind of nice. It does mean that you can get some pretty uh, not so great apps, but it also means that uh, you know, the, uh, there's no editorializing. It's, it's really, if, if you think something's a good idea and other people don't, the market can kind of make that decision as to, uh, as to you know, what is good and what is bad. Uh, the other thing, of course, is you can replace the entire look and feel. I've seen uh, some people playing around with changing the home screen. If you download the SDK, uh, one of the applications, I think it's still in the samples, is uh, as an example home screen that you can play around with and, and you know, as a starting off point of making, designing your own home screen, which is kind of fun. Uh, it's very easy to distribute your, uh, your Android app. That's really <laughs> nice. One thing you can do, uh, you, if you just want to play around, you can download the SDK. You can build your Android app, say killerapp.apk, that's the file you end up with. And then you can install this onto your friend's uh, G1, or whatever other Android phone there is, uh, via USB cable. So you can just write something incredibly silly and stupid, and it just doesn't matter. And you can put it on your friend's phone, and, and, uh, and they can enjoy it. Or, if you want to actually distribute your application to the world, you think, well, maybe this isn't so silly, and you know, maybe like a pull my finger is a good idea. You can, uh, you can actually register at uh, www.android.com slash market, unless they've changed that URL, I think that's it. Uh, you pay $25 US, which I don't know what the exchange rate's doing right now. What is that, like 12 quid or something? Um, and then you get your, uh, you registered on the market. And here, this, this is an actual screen snapshot from when I registered. Uh, I own takeovertheworld.com. I registered that in like the late 90s, obviously. And this is me registering that. So to get this slide cost me $25. Um, and then what you do is you, uh, you upload your APK file to the market. And, uh, and once you've done that, it's now available on every Android phone in the world. So every G1 comes with the market application pre-installed. So if, you, if anybody has a G1 on them, so there's some floating around, I know. If you go under like uh, the news category, and you can see the Telegraph application, which I highly recommend. Uh, and you can just click on there and, and download and get the, get the latest version. But of course, the coolest thing is writing your own custom applications. 
So uh, when I was a, a developer advocate across the road, and to answer Monty's question about how hard is Google to work with, I think the answer is standing before you. <laughs> I think Google is very, very good to work with. Um, so the, yeah, the, these guys, they, they approached me and uh, wanted to know if they could build an application uh, in order, you know, for launch of the market. And I was really skeptical because uh, these guys hadn't done an Android app before and the launch was in a week. <laughs> so I talked to my boss and he said, yeah, there's no way. So I went across the road, and, but these guys were really keen and enthusiastic and I just thought, okay, you know what? Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's just try. And so I gave them whatever help I could and uh, lo and behold, within a week, they had version one of, of their app done. So they had gone from never having done an Android app to building an Android app ready for the market. For version one for the launch. This is version three, but I've only done screen snap. I've only like shown you uh, stuff that was available in their version one. So what was that written in Java? Yeah, that was written in Java. It's a it's a fairly simple uh, application. It just allows you to very easily browse uh, headlines. It's actually the the real sort of proof for me is. Uh, I showed it to my wife, who's not gadgety at all, and she thinks I'm far too gadgety. And I showed it to her, and she just said, yeah, now this is something I would use. Because the other stuff I showed her, she said, oh, this is dumb. This takes forever, yeah. So yeah, so this is, this is the app, and, and this has just been excellent for driving traffic to, uh, to our website. So of course, because it's a WebKit-based browser, you can actually browse the real web. It doesn't have to be the, uh, the mobile web. So you can actually go to uh, your favorite site, which is, of course, the Telegraph. And you can go and see the, uh, the, the full Telegraph website in all its glory. Here you can see. I'm just zooming out here. So it's just like you would see on a desktop browser. But as you can see, it's not really that well formatted for a small device. So we're going to zoom in on the girl on the right. No, no, probably the laptop. There we go. But you have, it's a full web browser, so you can do all your JavaScript tricks and all your uh, web 2.0 type stuff, Ajaxy things.